Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Mataba. A popular dish made from cassava leaves cooked with coconut milk, often served with rice. Mataba, also known as Mataba de Poisson, is a traditional dish from Mayotte, an island in the Indian Ocean. This dish is particularly beloved in the local cuisine and holds cultural significance. Mataba is made from cassava leaves cooked in coconut milk and combined with various spices and often fish. It's a rich and flavorful dish that showcases the island's culinary heritage. Ingredients Cassava leaves Fresh cassava leaves are the main ingredient for mataba. They are typically harvested, cleaned, and chopped before cooking. Coconut milk Coconut milk is used to create a creamy base for the dish and infuse it with a rich flavor. Fish while fish is optional, it's a common addition to mataba. Fish like mackerel or tuna are often used and are typically cut into chunks or fillets. Spices and aromatics. Various spices and aromatics are used to flavor the dish, including onions, garlic, ginger, and sometimes chilies. Peanut paste. Optional, in some variations, peanut paste is added to enhance the flavor and texture of the dish. Preparation. Preparing the cassava leaves. The cassava leaves are cleaned, washed, and chopped finely. This helps to remove any bitterness. Cooking the fish. If using fish, it's usually sautéed or simmered first until partially cooked. This adds flavor to the broth. Creating the base. Onions, garlic, and ginger are often sautéed in oil until aromatic. Coconut milk is then added to create a rich and creamy base. Cooking the cassava leaves. The chopped cassava leaves are added to the coconut milk mixture. The dish is gently simmered until the leaves are tender and have absorbed the flavors of the coconut milk and spices. Incorporating the fish. If fish is used, the partially cooked fish is added to the pot and simmered along with the cassava leaves. Adjusting seasonings. The dish is seasoned with salt, pepper, and any additional spices according to taste preferences. Optional peanut paste. If using peanut paste, it's added at this stage to add depth of flavor and creaminess. Serving. Mataba is typically served hot and enjoyed with rice or bread, providing a hearty and nourishing meal. Mataba is not only a delicious dish but also a representation of Mayotte's culinary traditions and cultural heritage. It's often prepared and shared during special occasions, gatherings, and family meals, making it a cherished part of the local cuisine. Brichettes. Grilled skewers of meat or fish, often served with a side of bread or rice. Brichettes, in French or brochette, in the local Mayotte dialect refers to skewered and grilled meats that are enjoyed as a popular street food and snack in Mayotte. These grilled skewers are often flavorful and aromatic, showcasing the island's diverse culinary influences and love for grilled meats. Ingredients Meat Brichettes can be made with a variety of meats such as chicken, beef, pork, or even seafood like fish or shrimp. Marinade A flavorful marinade is crucial for imparting taste and tenderness to the meat. Ingredients can include garlic, ginger, onions, local spices, herbs, and sometimes a touch of citrus juice. Vegetables, optional. Some brochettes include chunks of vegetables like bell peppers, onions, and tomatoes between the meat pieces. Preparation. Cutting and marinating. The meat is cut into bite-sized pieces and then marinated in a mixture of aromatic ingredients. The marinade is usually allowed to infuse the meat for a few hours or more, depending on the desired flavor intensity. Skewering. After marinating, the meat is threaded onto skewers, often alternating with vegetables for added flavor and color. Grilling. The skewers are then grilled over an open flame, on a barbecue, or on a grill pan. During grilling, the meat becomes tender and infused with the flavors of the marinade. Basting. Optional. Some cooks choose to baste the meat with extra marinade or sauce while grilling to enhance the flavors and keep the meat moist. Serving. Once the meat is cooked to perfection, the skewers are typically served hot. They can be enjoyed on their own as a flavorful snack or served with accompaniments like rice, bread, or salads. Brochettes in Mayotte showcase the fusion of local ingredients with global grilling techniques, reflecting the island's cultural diversity. They're not only a delicious snack or meal but also a testament to the love for outdoor cooking and communal gatherings. Whether enjoyed by locals or tourists, Brichettes offer a taste of Mayotte's unique culinary landscape. Longoust Grillé. Grilled spiny lobster, a seafood delicacy enjoyed by locals and tourists. 
Longoost grille, also known as grilled spiny lobster, is a delectable seafood dish enjoyed in Mayotte and many other coastal regions. The spiny lobster is a prized delicacy, and grilling it enhances its natural flavors while imparting a smoky and charred aroma. Ingredients Spiny lobster Spiny lobsters are commonly used for this dish due to their tender and flavorful meat. They're known for their distinctive appearance with spines on their shells. Marinade a simple marinade is often used to enhance the lobster's flavor. It can include olive oil, garlic, herbs, lemon juice, and spices. Butter or oil. Butter or oil is used to prevent the lobster meat from sticking to the grill and to enhance its succulence. Preparation. Cleaning the lobster. Spiny lobsters are cleaned and prepared, which involves removing the head, legs, and tail from the shell. Marinating. The lobster tails and meat are marinated in a mixture of olive oil, garlic, herbs, lemon juice, salt, and pepper. The marinade infuses the lobster with flavor and helps to keep it moist during grilling. Grilling. The lobster tails are placed on a hot grill, flesh side down. They are typically grilled over direct heat until the meat turns opaque and becomes tender. The shell often develops a beautiful charred appearance. Basting. During grilling. Some cooks choose to baste the lobster meat with melted butter or the marinade to enhance its flavor and prevent it from drying out. Turning and finishing. After grilling on the flesh side, the lobster tails are turned over and briefly grilled on the shell side. This imparts a smoky flavor and completes the cooking process. Serving. Grilled spiny lobster is often served hot and can be enjoyed in various ways. Simple. The lobster can be served as is, allowing the natural flavors to shine through. With accompaniments, it's often accompanied by side dishes like grilled vegetables, rice, or a light salad. Dipping sauce. Some people enjoy dipping the lobster meat in melted butter or a flavorful sauce. Grilled spiny lobster is a treat for seafood enthusiasts, offering a unique combination of succulent lobster meat and the smoky flavors of grilling. In Mayotte, where seafood is abundant and cherished, Longoost Grille is a highlight that showcases the region's culinary prowess. Poisson Grille. Grilled fish, typically served with rice, vegetables, and sauces. Poisson grille, translates to, grilled fish, in English. This dish is a staple in many coastal regions, including Mayotte, where fresh seafood is readily available and forms a significant part of the local cuisine. Grilled fish is beloved for its simple preparation, highlighting the natural flavors of the fish while infusing it with a smoky and charred aroma. Ingredients. Whole fish or fillets. The choice of fish can vary based on local availability and preferences. Common choices include snapper, grouper, mackerel, or other local varieties. Marinade. A basic marinade may consist of olive oil, lemon juice, garlic, herbs, such as thyme or rosemary, and salt and pepper. Spices and herbs. Additional spices like paprika, cayenne pepper, or local seasonings can be added to enhance the flavor. Lemon or lime slices. Slices of lemon or lime can be used to add extra flavor during grilling. Oil or butter. A light coating of oil or melted butter helps prevent sticking and adds a hint of richness. Preparation. Cleaning the fish. If using whole fish, it's gutted, scaled, and cleaned. The fish is usually scored diagonally on both sides to help the marinade penetrate and ensure even cooking. Marinating. The fish is marinated for a short time, 30 minutes to an hour, in a mixture of olive oil, lemon juice, minced garlic, herbs, and spices. The marinade infuses the fish with flavor and helps to keep it moist during grilling. Grilling. The fish is placed on a hot grill, either directly on the grates or on a grill pan. It's typically cooked first on one side until grill marks appear, then flipped over to grill the other side. Lemon or lime slices. Slices of lemon or lime are placed on the grill alongside the fish, infusing it with citrusy aroma and flavor. Basting, optional, during grilling. The fish can be basted with the leftover marinade or with melted butter for added flavor. Cooking time. The cooking time depends on the thickness of the fish fillets or the size of the whole fish. Fish is considered done when the flesh is opaque, flakes easily, and reaches the desired internal temperature. Tacos. Tacos with various fillings, influenced by French and local ingredients. Tacos are a well-known and beloved Mexican dish that has gained popularity around the world, including in various regions of France, due to its delicious and versatile nature. Tacos consist of a folded or rolled tortilla, usually made from corn or wheat, 
filled with a variety of ingredients, such as meats, vegetables, cheeses, sauces, and more. They're often enjoyed as a handheld meal or snack, making them a convenient and satisfying street food option. In regions of France, including Mayotte, you might find French interpretations of tacos that blend local ingredients and flavors with the traditional concept of tacos. These adaptations cater to local tastes and preferences, resulting in unique variations of this global favorite. Taco fillings and ingredients. Meats. Various meats are commonly used, such as grilled chicken, beef, pork, or even local seafood options like fish or shrimp. Vegetables. Fresh and sautéed vegetables, such as lettuce, tomatoes, onions, bell peppers, and more, add crunch and freshness to the tacos. Cheese. Melted cheese is a common addition, providing a creamy and savory element. Sauces. A variety of sauces and condiments are used, ranging from mild to spicy, including salsa, guacamole, sour cream, and local chutneys or hot sauces. Rice and beans. Rice and beans are often used to add bulk and texture to the tacos. Types of tacos. Soft tacos. Soft tortillas are filled with the ingredients and then folded over to encase the fillings. Hard shell tacos. Crispy tortilla shells are filled with ingredients, creating a satisfying crunch. Burrito style tacos. Larger tortillas are filled with a variety of ingredients, then rolled into a cylinder shape. Fusion tacos. Local ingredients and flavors might be incorporated into the tacos, offering a blend of French and regional influences. In Mayotte, French adaptations of tacos might include using local spices, vegetables, and sauces that reflect the island's culinary diversity. These interpretations add a touch of Mayotte's unique flavors to the traditional concept of tacos, resulting in a fusion of international and local tastes that cater to the preferences of the region's inhabitants.